Hi guys, I'm Neri and welcome to English with yours truly. And today's gonna be a continuation of crazy English pronunciation. But it's not gonna be that crazy today because we're gonna tackle something a lot easier, which is syllable stress for nouns and verbs. I just noticed it doesn't match right. This is a pretty different brand. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but anyway, before we talk about syllable stress, let's learn about syllables first. Let's define it. Google, are you there? Okay, here you go. Syllable. Syllable is a unit of pronunciation having one vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants forming the whole or a part. All right, that's a little bit difficult to understand, but let me make it easy for you by illustrating it through examples. Syllable is a unit of pronunciation having one vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants. So to count the syllables, you need to count the vowel sounds. Cat has one vowel sound, hence it has one syllable. The word cookie has two syllables, although you see four vowels, O, O, I, E, there are actually only two vowel sounds, ku and ki. Remember, we don't count the vowels, but the vowel sounds. Now, in this word, how many vowels do you see? Okay, this is when it gets a little bit tricky. We said vowel sounds, right? But you'd say Y is not a vowel sound, it's a consonant. So here it goes. Y is both a vowel and a consonant. So when does Y considered to be a vowel? Number one, when the word has no other vowel, like the word gym. Number two is when the letter Y is at the end of a word, like candy or if it's in the middle of a word, like the word system. Listen to these four words. Bag, table, computer, information. Let's find out how many syllables these words have. Bag has one syllable. Table has two syllables. Computer has three and information has four syllables. When using a dictionary, check where the apostrophe is placed because that's where you should put your stress on or that's where the syllable stress is. Table, computer, information. Points to remember. Number one, stress syllable should be louder or it should be said longer when pronounced. For example, banana, banana. Number two, words with one syllable don't really have stress. You notice, we say it this way, dog, ball, back. No stress, right? Number three, words with two or more syllables have one stressed syllable. For example, information television, photography. You will notice that in English, there are some words with the same exact spelling, but different meaning. For example, this one. If this word is used as a noun, the stress should fall on the first syllable. So it should be pronounced this way. Produce, produce. Example, the bananas are in the produce section. Now, if we use it as a verb, then the pronunciation should go this way. Produce, produce. You see, the stress falls on the second syllable. Produce. Example, the farms in the Philippines produce delicious bananas. I use a lot of bananas in my examples because <laughs> I love bananas. Now, here are some examples to help you practice. An accent, to accent, a conflict, 
to conflict, a contest, to contest, an insult, to insult, an object, to object, a contract, to contract, a convert, to convert, an envelope, to envelop, a permit, to permit, a protest, to protest, an insert. To insert, a recall, to recall, a suspect, to suspect. Now let's practice the following sentences on your own. Okay, let's try them. Why do you object to this object? I'd like to present this present. I couldn't recall if there'd been a recall. The singer wanted to record a new record for his album. Now, a different change occurs when you go from an adjective, a noun, and a verb. Let's try this word. This word can be pronounced in two different ways. One is articulate, late articulate. Number two, articulate, lit, articulate. So how does that work? Well, it's easy. If it's a noun or an adjective, we give the mate a shorter or reduced sound. For example, articulate, articulate, advocate, advocate intimate intimate if it's a verb then we give it a mate sound for example articulate articulate advocate advocate intimate intimate let me give you more examples to practice animate animate Alternate, alternate, appropriate, appropriate, approximate, approximate, associate, associate, deliberate, deliberate, discriminate, discriminate. Okay, let's practice these sentences. Let's try it together. Number one, do you know that your associate is known to associate with gangsters? Number two, how much do you estimate this estimate will be? And number three, the government has to appropriate the funds to appropriate recipients. Since we're talking about nouns and verbs, it's good to remember that there are some words in English that are both nouns and verbs. For example, the word park. Park as a noun is a place like a large area with trees, grass, where people can walk for pleasure or where children can play. Park as a verb, on the other hand, is when you put your vehicle or your car in a place and leave it there for a while or for a certain period of time. Another example is the word color. Color as a noun is like color yellow, brown, green, orange. But color as a verb is when you make something a particular color, like when you use crayons to color your drawing purple. Now, this is when it gets a little bit crazy. Notice that when you use color as a noun, the pronunciation is still color. Whereas when you use it as a verb, the pronunciation is still color. Right. I know what you're feeling right now. Because <laughs> I felt it before. And I'm sure you want to know, how did you do it? How did you remember the pronunciation of words? Like when to put the stressed syllable. 
You see, there is no easy answer to that. But the only thing I did was practice. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions and comments or lessons you want me to cover in one of my videos, just write it down in the comments box below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe and hit that bell button down there if you want to get notified with new videos I upload. See you next time.